bad news Brown versus Ken Patera. Yes. Oh, bad news man. versus Richard Simmons. <laughs> he does look like Richard Simmons. He looks very much like He's Richard one of those Simmons. wrestlers who would really benefit from wearing knee pads because <laughs> he's got a big body and these two spindly little legs. Yeah. And he looks, he looks like a sort of dinner lady. <laughs> There's something really, you know when, like in some films where there'll, there'll be like a dinner lady, <laughs> like a dinner lady character. How many That's films no have film. a dinner lady? That's maybe carry on at your convenience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is the only one. But when they have like an older woman and there's a sort of stunt and it will be done by a man dressed as an old woman. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's a bit of what like Ken Patera looks like. He looks like he's dressed as an old woman. Um, there's there's some the funny things they do here as well, which is that they do this, oh, it's the Olympian versus the ghetto thug. Yes, of course, yeah. But in a weird way, I mean, Bad News Brown is, is an also Olympian. an Olympian. <laughs> yes. And it turns out Ken Patera has recently come out of prison, having been there two years. Yeah. So it's a funny thing that you can only really explain <laughs> because it's he's... really racist. Yeah. Yeah. But bad news is black, therefore we won't mention he's an Olympian. Mm. Uh, Ken Patera is a white criminal, <laughs> so we'll mention he's an Olympian. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Christ. Um, Billy says at one point, he's got big legs. <laughs> he does, yes. <laughs> big legs. <laughs> He's got those mighty python superstars just yes, like you had in your career. No question about it, but also he's got the big legs. Look at the legs on the men, the power of the thighs of Quilla Monsoon. I got obsessed with that line as well. And again, that funny thing about like <laughs> Billy Graham, who is just riddled with steroids. It's destroyed his entire body. Mm. He looks at muscles and goes, I like those muscles. I want them. <laughs> I need all the <laughs> muscles. I want them on my body too. Look at the legs. Look at the legs on the men. The power of the thighs, Gorilla Monsoon. <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla's like, I, do, I don't want to do this anymore. Do <laughs> it's a fat leg. <laughs> it's a fat you have, leg. It's a fat leg. You've got no hip stop looking at muscles and going oh i want all the muscles you've tried to have all the muscles and look where it's got you You're, you are living in a bin your problem is it's muscles it's tendons it's your normal human tendons that you've made it had to do with ridiculous muscles and all of your organs are getting too big your heart is getting so big that it sounds like there's wind coming out of the end of it big aorta oh look at that big aorta gorilla monsoon um ken patera ends up in prison for two years for a legend Legendary story. Yeah. So he's in the AWA. <laughs> the, uh, he's had a long run in WWF. He moves to the AWA, a smaller it's, organization. It's so pathetic. Oh, and he ends up going to um, a McDonald's after midnight and he wants to buy six burgers. Six. Right? That's all he wants. Look, man wants his burgers. Six burgers. So he man sees through the window, even though it's shut, that there's loads of people in there. And it right. turns out they're filming a commercial in that thing. <laughs> oh, right. So he starts saying to the guy, I didn't get a commercial, man. How about you pass me out them burgers? And they go, oh no, they're being used for a commercial. <laughs> He's like, they've, they've been under this heater for like <laughs> seven hours. You wouldn't sounds even want good, them. Sounds good, sounds good. Give me the six of them burgers. <laughs> And they go, no, you're not having the burgers, mate. And he goes, yeah, give me them burgers. I'll give you $50 for six burgers. And nowadays, that's like the normal price, I'm sure. <laughs> but they basically go, no, you can't have burgers. And then what happens is, depending on whether you listen to Ken Patera or you listen to the eyewitness, <laughs> someone throws a brick through the window. Right? Now, Ken Patera says what happened is, as he was walking off, he met a disgruntled former employee of McDonald's <laughs> who he, he then threw the brick through. I mean, how yeah. this man said I'm a disgruntled former employee I am an <laughs> there was only one eyewitness and that was a guy who was actually like in a security booth yeah and he said no it was him he <laughs> threw the thing in he, he was tapping on the window talking to the man behind the window <laughs> and then he picked up a rock and threw it through, yeah <laughs> through the so window. we'll never know <laughs> <laughs> basically, Ken Patera goes back to his hotel yeah. where he's staying with uh, Masa Saito, who is a Japanese star. And they go to the hotel, the police, to try and find Ken Patera, and they knock on Masa Saito's door mm. instead. And he opens the door. Says, Chigaimas! <laughs> There's Mistake. some confusing thing as well where Saito says, I thought they were asking me, is there a woman in here? So I replied, no. <laughs> Whoa! And the question <laughs> was, the question was, have you heard of a man called Ken Patera? And so he said, no, no. And he denied everything. And at this moment, he just says, if you don't get out of my door, I'm going to headbutt you. And what happens then is, I think Ken Patera opens his door, comes out, and the two of them end up just thumping the shit out of this male and female policewoman. Wow. They really, really badly beat them up. They radioed for backup, a load of people arrive, I think something like 16 in the end, mm. and Saito and Patera just begin trying to tear them apart. Jesus. So there's this massive thing. They end up both getting two years in prison mm. as a result of it. There's this funny thing where Ken Patera, he won't talk about it and so he did a shoot interview where someone sort of brought it up and he just loses his fucking lid the cops are banging on my door 
I'm talking to my babysitter on the fucking phone trying to track my wife down. The bimbo was out fucking with their girlfriends. You know, my kids at that time were, you know, three years old and six months old. So anyway. I mean, the actual, uh, they were pretty lucky, it sounds, not yeah. to be shot dead. At one point, Ken Patera dragged a policewoman down the hall by the gun that she had in her belt. Fucking hell. Um, she said that he was bashing her head back and forth into the wall. Ken Patera goes, I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you, you can check the concrete. There's absolutely no blood or hair on it. And it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, blood and hair? Jesus Christ. I mean, that's everywhere else. It's not on the wall, though, mate. I'm not an animal. <laughs> I mean, it just sounds a bit nightmarish. Sixteen mm. state troopers end up fighting in this thing. And they had a, a, a funny thing. Two men. I know. Some men are too big for yeah. this world. Over six hamburgers. <laughs> about not having his hamburgers. Kenny wants his burgers. I'm blaming Donald's for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh man, they weren't loving it. That was really slick. No, <laughs> thanks, also, mate. not only slick, but hack. <laughs> the two things I like the most. <laughs> slick and hack, weren't they managers for uh, Cork or Beware? <laughs> Very good. I'm, uh, yeah, we're, we're on fire. <laughs> so, um, Patera, basically, they bring him back and they make him do a load of vignettes where he's in a prison cell kind of going i'm coming back i've served my time and i'm coming back what was it like sitting in jail being in prison the disgrace i brought upon my loved ones my family my friends the disgrace i brought up myself i hope to make it right by ridding the world of people like you bobby heenan i paid for my mistake and i will be coming back he actually served time, the last year, was in a very open prison where right. he just went fishing every day. <laughs> That's what it sounds, a lot of people took it the American penal system. This place sounded eye fucking deal. It sounds like... Well, he, he could sign in and out. <laughs> sign in and out. That's not prison. That's like, I, I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's, just, it's just insane. But Ken Patera comes back and basically Vince McMahon, while he's been in prison, has sent a check every week to his wife. Uh, and Ken Patera's like, what a man. That's amazing. Mm. And Vince, basically, as he comes back to work, says, right, I'm docking your pay because yeah. you're going to pay back all <laughs> right, that okay, money. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually fair enough. Yeah. It's not like Vince put him in prison. He wasn't no. injured while he was wrestling. No. He went to prison because he threw a brick through a McDonald's and then beat up really, really badly a load of cops. Yeah. So, uh, fair Two enough. Two years since, for back in the day, you could get away with the, the, uh, playing very fast and loose the with funny thing how is, long sentences were. Patera's own lawyer had said to him, the most you're going to get is 30 days in prison and a small fine. Jesus I mean, so that was I mean, beating up 16 <laughs> state troopers. One of them ended up with a broken leg. The other yeah. one, you know, I mean, it was just a nightmare. Apart from the female, uh, please. Officer, I would quite like to see in there see <laughs> two big wrestlers being. It's like a video game. It would be. Streets of Rage. It would be amazing. It, would it really would. Kebatera, they are the also just beating the shit I out of I think Mr. Saito is a former Olympian as well. He mm. certainly was part of the Olympic team. So watching two He's certainly Olympians, the fucking record books now. Olympians versus police. <laughs> that is a show I would watch the <laughs> fuck out of. Hello, I'm Pete from WrestleMe. Hello, I'm Mark from WrestleMe. That was a nice salute. Uh, we are can be found over on our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. Uh, you get weekly podcasts, a monthly fantastic newsletter that's absolutely gigantic. It's ginormous. You get weekly podcasts advert free and you also get these videos advert free. It's Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. We've done loads of stuff there. So go and look at it. There's loads. And um, Patera is basically doing this last run. He's in the twilight of his career. <laughs> and they begin on commentary as time goes on the next couple of months. Mm. They begin, like, Alfred Hayes is literally doing commentary where he's sort of going, I mean, his skills are deserting him now. It's really probably time to hang up the boots. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, Jesus Christ. When I mean, even Alfred Hayes <laughs> is casting aspersions <laughs> in your ability to do a job yeah, you've a... been asked to do for a long time. I mean, the other thing is, I mean, credit to Al Hayes. <laughs> who is like, this guy beat up 16 police and you're going out there and going, I'm going to say that he's old and his skills are deserting him. Come and have a fucking go. Come on, plant one there. Won't do it, will you? No. You're scared. You're shitting yourself. Good on you, Alfred. You're a hero. Yes. Uh, so this is a quick match. He gets the ghetto blaster off bad news. There's one good thing, which is bad news doesn't even let him get out of his jacket. Nice. And the whole thing of watching uh, an aging Ken Patera being beaten up with his jacket on. If you were a policeman, you'd be going, I love this match. <laughs> this is what I came to see. Fantastic stuff. Because Patera should be kept behind prison walls. Why? Why should he be kept behind prison walls? 
is because Patera is a vicious and violent animal. You don't believe me? Quote, you read it. That's it. We wound up going to prison for two fucking years over this bogus bullshit fucking rap. So, mm. anyway, that's enough of that. I gotta <laughs> scratch my fucking nuts. Yeah. Camera doesn't come no, down. No, it doesn't so. go down that low, so. Yeah, but I, I have a big cock. <laughs> it might pop out. <laughs>